Have you been in touch with Jose Mourinho at all? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had a couple of messages, yeah, just to uh, wish him well on his new role, as uh, he's always done for me. So, uh, yeah, now we had a couple of messages. What does he bring to Tottenham, and, and why is it that he seems to be able to have an immediate impact wherever he goes? Well, I think um, history and results speak for themselves. Um, the, the trophies, titles that he's managed to win over his clubs that he's worked at um, are not things in sport like that, are not shocks, are not surprises. They're because of hard work and what you put in, and he's done that consistently. At the teams that he's been at, so you know that's um, that's what we measure him and measure us as managers by. Um, the other thing with that is that wherever you go is a new beginning. So I don't think you can rely on that yourself, and I'm sure he won't be behind the scenes. But that's why um, people will hold up his record and uh, expect big things from him. With him back in the Premier League, does it make does it make things tougher for everyone else? Does it make things tougher for you, for everybody else? Well, it keeps him off Sky Sports for a while, which is one thing. But it's um, he, uh, he uh, no. I mean, he's got a good team. They're a very good team. And at the start of the season, when you look at Spurs, there are a lot of people's um, favourites to be in the race to, to win the title. Now, I know they've had a difficult start, but I think when you look at what Pochettino has built over the last years, I've got huge respect for what he's done at that football club. Um, and I think what Marino takes on is a, is a group of very good players, even though they're in a slightly false position, I believe, at the moment, for whatever reason. So it will be tough because they have quality players, they have a quality manager, uh, and they have all the structure there. They have a training ground, a, um, a stadium, and all those things. So, yeah, they're going to be a threat, without a doubt, Tottenham. Will this game be a gauge of, of where you are to see how you can compete against Manchester City? Yeah, as I, as I mentioned before, yes, in a way, because when you have, you go up against a big team, and I think the big teams we've gone up against this year, Liverpool twice, we've gone pound for pound with them and lost, unfortunately, and to a degree of very tight matches. Uh, Manchester United in the first game, we put in a good, pretty good performance, but a harsh reality is we got beaten, and Manchester United again, we changed the team with about five or six changes. So um, all of those, what people would see as the so-called tougher games, I think we have uh, performed pretty well without probably the result that we might have got. Um, but at the same time with tomorrow, I think, it's uh, as I mentioned before, you can go to City and lose at your best. That's how good they are. So I won't judge us uh, on the big picture just through that one game. During the international break, first England goals for, for Tammy and for Mason. Um, I mean, if they haven't scored, you know, if they haven't been exceptional up till now, that's just the icing on the cake, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, brilliant for them. I was so pleased to watch them play, watch them score. And um, yeah, again, that's a little continuation of their form. And I know from being that younger player with England, that when you go away and something like that happens, it helps, it boosts your confidence, it uh, makes them, gives them another sense of, of feeling at home at, at that level, at that stage as well, which for your all-round um, confidence is a great thing. So I was very pleased to, to see that.